Hi, I'm Judy with Amazing Trails Yoga doing yoga tricks today. I'm teaching you plenty of tricks. Some are just for fun, some are challenging, some are useful. If you walk away with one, if you walk away with a bunch, it's perfectly fine, it's really great. Make sure during Shavasana you stick around. You'll see one of our reels with these little army soldiers. And it's so much fun. A lot of the poses that we just worked on will be incorporated in that. And we'll see you soon. We will start in Baddha Konasana Butterfly with the soles of your feet together. Maybe you could grab your big toes. And we're going to take a nice deep inhale, sitting straight up. Exhale, leaning forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. It does not matter if your knees are up like this or down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Our first trick is going to be really different, a lot of fun. Take your toes and you're separating them one at a time. We're going to zip our toes together. So you're going to take them, separate them, stretch them out, and you're putting the soles of your feet together. You will take You'll start with your right foot. So take your right big toe and put it on the side of your left big toe. Then your right long toe comes beside the big toe and your left long toe. Middle right toe, middle left toe. Then the fourth right toe coming around and the left one just came automatically, for me anyway, and take your little toe and you're interlacing them. It's kind of hard to see, just feel. And your feet are zipped together, your toes are zipped together. Take your hands and you're interlacing your fingers and you're going to shoot your palms forward, your pinkies are up, thumbs are down, maybe you can connect and bring them back by your chest and flip your palms forward, thumbs are down. We're really gonna use our feet and our hands, our wrists a lot, so this is a good workout for them. In preparation, bringing them forward again. Palms come forward, pinky and thumbs down. Bring them to your chest and you're flipping them frontwards with your thumbs down, great. Bringing them forward, you're going to change the interlacing of your fingers so that the other thumb is on top. Might be a little bit awkward. And bring your palms forward, pinkies up, thumbs down, maybe you can connect. And bringing them to your chest, you're flipping over so your palms come forward, your thumbs are down, your feet are still zipped together. Bringing them back, palms forward, pinky and thumbs might connect. Bring them back to your chest and last time your thumbs come down, your palms are forward and back. Unzip your toes and we're coming down onto our backs with our feet up into the sky and your hands up to the sky and we're pointing our toes and our hands come forward and we flex. We point and flex, just loosening them up. Point and flex. We're going to make circles with our feet and our hands one way and the other way. 
You're going to bring your knees into your chest and we're going to do a little trick, a massage for our spines. Bring your hands behind your knees. We're going to roll up. If you have no one to massage you, give yourselves a nice little massage. Tuck your belly, your navel into your spine so that you can be round. You don't want to land flat on your back. And we're coming down. We'll do this a few times. You might hear a snap, a crackle, and a pop. Coming back, make sure you're rounding a little trick. And coming up and round again. Suck your navel into your spine. Ooh, I heard a nice crackle there. And coming up, we'll bring our feet behind us. I'm going to put my thumb brace on, my handy dandy thumb brace. Sit back into toes pose on the balls of your feet. Getting our feet ready for these future tricks. Take your hands behind you. You could put your hands on blocks if you need to or right on the mat. And you're putting your palms flat down and opening up your chest. Pull your shoulder blades back. Push yourselves a little bit forward. Come on to your hands and the tops of your feet. Bring your arms back behind you. Again, you can have them on the blocks. Bend your arms, pick your knees up. You're stretching the fronts of your feet. And coming forward, flipping to the back, the balls of your feet into toes pose. Keep your knees down. Bring your arms around behind you. Open your chest. Your shoulder blades come back. Give yourselves a tiny push forward onto your palms, the tops of your feet. Very nice. We're bending our arms. Bending our arms. Kicking up your knees. Coming forward, we'll do this one last time. We come into the toes pose. Your hands come behind you, open your chest. Give yourselves a little push up, palms come down. Come to the tops of your feet. Bring your hands back behind you and you're lifting up your knees. Very, very nice. And we come back, your hands come down and your feet come back behind you. We're coming into a downward facing dog. Let your head dangle down. And we're going to take our third eye closer to our knees, opening up our shoulders. And coming back into regular downward dog, take your right hand to your left ankle. You might have to walk your feet in a little bit to reach. That's perfectly fine. Give yourselves a nice stretch. And bring your right hand forward and downward dog again. Draw your face close to your knees. You're opening up your shoulders. And back into the downward dog as we take our left hand to our right ankle. Maybe your calf, any part of your leg. Nice little stretch. And we come back into downward dog. Maybe you can move your feet back a little bit if you pulled them forward. So we're coming into a plank position and coming down into chaturanga. Come over the tops of your feet into an upward facing dog. Now this is another trick we'll be doing with our feet. If we need to come back into Chaturanga, we're going to flip over your feet and you bend your arms. So we'll try that again. We're coming up and it just takes a little practice. You might not do it on the first time. We're flipping over our feet, coming into Chaturanga and back to the tops of our feet. And one more time, we're flipping over, coming down and back to the tops of our feet into upward facing dog. Or if we want to do any kind of push up, we're going to flip into chaturanga up to a push up. We'll only do three of these. 
So come back, oops. So come back into upward facing dog, flip over your feet into a plank, a push up, come to the tops of your feet, upward facing dog. And one last time, you're flipping over, up to a push up and downward facing dog. Take a nice breath. That was a lot of work, but that's a lot of fun. Very nice. Now looking up towards your hands. And I know when you're in a class, some of the instructors say to bend, or not to bend, I'm sorry, to jump up to your hands, to float up to your hands. Well, let's practice that. We want to learn some tricks. So we're bending our legs at the knees and coming into a plank. Bending at the knees, coming into plank. Bending at the knees, coming into plank. And now I think we're brave enough to bend. And without making too much noise, we're going to jump forward. And notice we're always bent. We're not jumping into straight arms or straight legs. Very nice. Let's come into a forward fold and walk our feet back into downward facing dog so we can try that again. Let's bend our legs at the knees, come into plank. Bend at the knees, come into plank. I think we're ready this time, we're bending and we're going to jump and float up. Try not to make any noise. Straighten our legs, we're in a Uttanasana forward fold. And let's walk our feet back again to downward dog. Look between your hands, we're bending and coming into a plank. Bending, coming into a plank, we ready? Bend and jump up, very nice. You come into a forward fold, lovely, lovely, lovely. Another trick, we're putting our big toes together our knees together, we're coming up into Utkatasana chair. And the trick is, they say you can put your toes together, your knees together, or separate them. It's a lot harder when they're separate. You're just using so many more muscles. Put your toes together, your, your knees together. It just takes a lot of the weight off. So we're in Utkatasana, and we're coming up. <sighs> Take a nice breath. We come back into chair. Big toes together, knees together, and a forward fold. Halfway up into Ardha Uttanasana, monkey. And coming down now, some instructors say jump back into Chaturanga. We never jump back into downward dog or plank because our arms would be stiff and hard and it's really not good for our joints. So we want to always be able to bend. So we're going to jump back into Chaturanga. If you just jump back this far, fine, and then walk your feet out. Okay, but keep your arms bent. We'll try, we might not get it on the first time, but we're jumping back. Remember our arms are bent. And then you're pushing your toes forward Rolling right over the tops of our feet into an upward facing dog and flipping over our feet like we practice downward facing dog. Let's look ahead. We'll bend our legs at the knees, jump up to our hands. Your toes come together, your knees, Utkatasana chair, and coming up. Take a nice deep breath, your hands are in prayer. Little aerobic workout, learning all these tricks. And we'll come down into Utkatasana chair and a forward fold. Halfway up monkey, Ardha Uttanasana, and a forward fold. Bending our legs at the knees, we're going to jump into Chaturanga. Remember, your arms are going to be bent. Keep them nice and flexible. And we jump back. All it takes is practice. Push your feet back, 
and come right over the tops of your toes into upward facing dog and we're going to flip over them into downward facing dog we'll do that one more time look up between your hands bend your legs you're always bending when we jump jump forward nice and quietly very good forward fold straighten your legs toes together knees together utkatasana chair and we come down forward fold halfway up ardha uttanasana and a forward fold bending our legs at the knees our palms are on either side of our feet we're jumping back to chaturanga you can do it now jump back good come over the tops of your feet and back to downward facing dog very very nice you ready for a new trick take your right hand to the center of your mat not in the middle down here but this closer to your left hand and we're going to do a side plank and I know we stack our feet a lot that's really tough so I'm suggesting with your hand right in the center take your right foot and make a platform of it so you don't have to come on the sides of your feet or put your foot forward put your foot down so that maybe you could lift up your left arm and lift up your left leg instead of being on the edge of your feet you might be able to lift it up higher if you come down that's fine we're all just practicing so we're coming to the side you come to the sole of your foot even if you lift your leg up a little bit you're lifting it up now a nice trick we're bending our top leg if you can grab a hold of that toe and bring it up to the mat for a nice lunge there you go take your right foot and bring it to the pinky side of your right hand we're coming into malasana malasana is squat another trick take your elbows to the insides of your knees and push open in prayer should feel really nice just getting them open 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 great then we're going to put our hands down and we're going to oh don't put your hands down put your keep your hands together coming up 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 very good we're going to toe heel toe so we can come right into utkanasana chair and a forward fold halfway up ardha uttanasana forward fold we're bending our palms are on the ground we're going to jump back into chaturanga there we go over the tops of our feet upward facing dog and flipping over our feet into downward dog we'll do the side plank on the other side so take your left hand to the center and we're going to come over to your left side your left foot is flat on the ground and you can maybe lift your right leg up it's a lot easier this is a trick than being on the side because look I'm coming forward you can hang on to anything you like but I prefer going on the bottom of your foot lift your hip up maybe you can lift your leg up doesn't matter how high you can go bending your leg grab a hold of that toe just a little challenge and bring it up into the lunge enjoy the lunge enjoy the nice stretch your left foot is coming up on the other side we're in malasana again really nice take a nice breath and we're going to stand we're coming up 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 great and toe heel toe right in 
into chair. We're going to do that one more time on each side and coming forward. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana and a forward fold, bending your legs at the knees. We're going to jump back into Chaturanga. Hope you have it. If not, just keep doing this, keep practicing, have fun with it. I always love a challenge. I always love to learn new things. And we're jumping back into Chaturanga over the tops of our feet and downward dog. I'm going to bring my face close to my knees Give my shoulders a nice stretch. And coming forward into plank, take your right hand toward the center of the mat. You're flipping over to the bottom of your right foot. Your left arm comes up and you could lift up that top left leg. Does not matter how high. Oops. There we go. Bend your leg at the knee. Get that toe and bring it up. Really, really nice. So from this position, we can bring our right leg to the other side, back in Malasana squat. And we'll take a little shortcut. We'll bring our hands onto the mat, bring your feet together, we're bending, and we're going to jump back into the Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Look between your hands, take your left hand toward the center of the mat. We're coming to the left side. The sole of your foot comes down instead of the edge. That's the trick. Lift your top right leg up, your right arm. Again, it doesn't have to be high at all. It doesn't even have to be up there. Bend your leg, find that big toe, and travel it up into the lunge. Take your back foot, you're coming up into Malasana squat. Take a nice breath. So now we're on to our next trick, which is crow, which is not necessarily a trick, but I'll add something extra for it. So we're in crow. As a trick with crow, take your elbows, your triceps, and bring them down your legs, the insides of your legs, and up. Give yourselves a nice massage down and up. Down and up. So now when we come down, bring the palms of your hands to the mat. You're going to use your triceps as a shelf we just move back a little bit from this nice table. And you're going to pick up onto the balls of your feet. This is good enough. Maybe you can come balance one at a time. Your toes are together. This is crow. You might have done this before. As a major trick, we're going to jump back into chaturanga. So jump back. And we're coming up into upward facing dog. Why don't we try that again? So we're flipping over our feet. Walk this time. Walk your feet up to your hands. Take your toes diagonally out to the side. We're coming into a squat. That looks a lot harder than it is. I saw one of my instructors do it years ago, and I was like, I'll never do this. And then I tried it. Didn't do it very well. Tried it again, again and again, and before you know it, it's yours. So again, we're massaging the insides of our legs, up and down. Bring your elbows down, your palms come to the mat, come to the balls of your feet. Use your triceps as a shelf and crow. Maybe your big toes can come together, and you're going to take your knees, and you're just going to shoot them out. Good. And coming up into upward facing dog over the tops of your feet. Roll over to downward facing dog. We'll do that one last time. Walk your feet up to your hands. Your toes come out diagonally. You might have to heel toe a little bit further. Come back into Malasana, into the squat. 
Again, take your elbows, separate your knees, bring your arms down your legs, come to the palms of your hands. We're coming up into crow. And this is good enough right here. You don't have to jump back into chaturanga, always with something bent, your arms are bent, coming up to the tops of our feet and back into downward facing dog, very lovely. From this, we're going to walk our hands back to our feet, we're in Uttanasana, forward fold, and we're coming up. We're going to do a tree, a balance, it's always good to do a balance with any yoga routine. A trick is, if your mat is thick, and you're doing a balance, go on the floor. Okay, so maybe I'll just move my mat a little bit. My mat's not terribly thick, but I'm just showing you a lot of times off the mat, go on the floor. Another little trick, we lift up our feet, our toes, separate them, and bring them back down onto the ground, onto the mat for a bigger platform. We're going to use our left leg first for the standing leg. So it's a little harder to do one foot at a time. It's always good for a brain challenge. Lift up your toes on just your left foot. Separate them and bring them down. Good. Got it. Inhale your right leg up. You can be just like this, doesn't matter. To your shin, not on your knee. We don't want to rest it on our knees. Inner thighs, we come into a prayer, a tree. Nice balance. Another trick is finding a dristi, something not moving. Keep your eyes on it. If you notice, if you close your eyes, you might lose your balance. You need to be watching something still. Interlace your fingers. And just like we did earlier, bring them forward. Pinkies are up. Thumbs are down. Bring them to your chest and you're flipping your hands over so your thumbs are down, palms are forward. And back. Very nice. Take your leg down. Nice breath in. And out. Take your toes on your right foot. Lift them up. You can feel them separate and place them back on the mat or the ground. We'll inhale our left foot up. Here is fine. Chin, thigh. We're in prayer. You interlace your fingers. This time, notice that one thumb is over the other. We're switching. Nice little trick for the mind. And we'll bring our palms forward, pinkies up, thumbs up. Reminds me of some games I used to play with my hands when I was a kid, like here's the church, here's a steeple. Open the door, there's all the people, something like that. Bring them forward and your palms come toward the front, your thumbs are down. Very nice. Bring them forward and come to standing. We are back on the mat. I'm going to roll my mat up over. And we are going to do some inversions. And I have a few tricks for the inversions. I, what the, my main trick, when I'm in a yoga class and you say do an inversion and people are standing on their heads, I have a fear, and I must confess, of flipping over, flat on my back. I did that when I was a kid, I was in a ballet class, and I flipped right over, and I got the wind knocked out of me, flat on my back, and I just had that fear ever since. So I don't even use the wall sometimes to, for, for support, but it's there for my mental support, it's right behind me. So we're going to do a headstand, and come to a wall, if you need to, if not, that's fantastic. So a wall, I'm not even going to touch it, but maybe I will if I have to. Take your hands and you're making a safety net for your head. You're going to put your head down onto the safety net. 
you will come onto your forearms, lifting up your feet. This is good just how it is. Okay, you could bend one leg at a time or both legs and you're coming up. It does take some strain and you're straightening your legs. Coming up into the headstand, however long you like. Maybe you're leaning against the wall, maybe not. And you're coming down, you could bend your legs. And we're coming down. Trick is, come right into a child's pose. Don't come up too quickly. Make your way up. There is another inversion I'd like to show you. And this is when you put your head directly on the mat. My trick is using a pillow. Putting my head right on the mat is too much pressure on my head, even with a hat on. So if you could put a pillow, something soft, or maybe you don't need it. And I'm coming into a straddle fold. So I'm straddling the pillow, the mat, bringing my head down onto the mat. My hands are like a tripod, so they're not right next to my ears, they're a little bit forward. And now I'm going to lift up my feet. If you come this high, that's great. Maybe you can keep going. Just practice. Me, don't go too fast. And you're up. However way you like. Whoop. And you can separate your feet and come back down. And again, I'm coming into a child's pose. And I'm slowly coming up. Let's make our way down onto the mat, onto our backs. It's also good for any yoga practice to do a nice back bend. So we, will do, we can do a reclined bridge. Everybody knows bridge. You can lift up your hips. Your fingertips come to your heels. Lift up your pelvis. This is great how it is. You could clasp your hands together. Come on your triceps. Or you could take your block and put it on your sacrum. Any length you want, any height. I like to put it on the highest. You don't have to at all. This is if you, your back can really bend. You do not put it in the middle of your back or right on your tailbone, just a little bit up. You could stay right like this or you could come into the full wheel. So take your hands. How much room do I have? Good. Take your hands, your palms come up to the sky. Your fingertips are coming to the back of the mat. You're bending your elbows, your arms at the elbows. And put your palms flat on the mat. This is good just like this. This is a good stretch for your wrists, for your arms. If you want to come up, you start lifting up your pelvis. And this is good right here. Then you could start straightening your arms, coming into a full wagon. Whatever works for you. And we slowly come down. Very nice. And to counteract that, take your knees into your chest. Maybe give yourselves a nice hug. You can rock back and forth a little bit, massage the spine, the sacrum. Very lovely. Now we're going to do a spinal twist. Take your right ankle and cross it over your left. A little trick is taking your hips, your torso one or two inches over to the right. Your right leg is crossed over. Your arms come out to a T and you're dropping nice and slowly. Your knees over to the left. Very lovely. You can look over your right shoulder keeping your shoulder blades flat on the mat. I like a little more challenge, so I take my right foot and I'm bringing it right over 
taking my left elbow, pulling it down, but you can keep your knees any way you like. Your shoulder blades are flat on the mat. So good for your spine to be able to move and be so flexible. You want to bend, you don't want to break. If you fall, you can move with the fall instead of just cracking. Looking up to the sky, we'll bring our knees together, our torso, our torso back to the center, cross your left ankle over your right. Now you're going to move your hips, your torso a little bit over to the left as you drop your knees over to the right. Ah, that feels so good. Your arms can come out to a T. I like to bring my knee up and touch the ground for a bigger challenge or keep your knees on top of each other, whatever works for you. Great spinal twist. All these fun tricks. Hope you're having a lot of fun. Hope you utilize, even if you walk away with one trick in your pocket. Fantastic. Looking up toward the sky, bring your knees together. We're coming into a happy baby. We separate our knees. We can bring our hands to the pinky toe side of our feet and pull our knees closer to us, your ankles, your calves, or from everyday yoga, we we intermingled, we zipped our fingers and our toes together. Maybe you could do that on each foot. As we did earlier in the practice today, we zipped our toes together. I'm putting my fingers between my toes if you want to try that. Just for fun. Since our feet are nice and open and pulling them forward, you certainly don't have to. And the trick is just think of a little happy baby getting the diaper change, moving around, not a care in the world, relaxing, put your lower back to the mat, open up, it doesn't matter if your feet are up, you can bring, you can hang on to any part of your body, do whatever you like. Bringing our feet and our knees together, we're going to come into a Shavasana, straighten one leg out at a time, and bring for the final trick, bring your arms up overhead, make a little net like we did for the headstand, and you're going to elongate your spine, your, give, your neck rather, you're giving your head some nice gentle tugs, gentle pulls. And when we come to the center, you're elongating your neck and letting it gently come to the mat. Taking our palms around and up to the sky, letting our body sink down into the mat, our feet into the mat, our calves, our thighs, the buttocks backs, arms, shoulders, head, take some nice breaths, make sure you stick around for the reel that we made for you, some of these positions are in it, it's a whole lot of fun. Whenever you're ready, you can make wrist circles, ankle circles one way and the other way. Open your eyes. Bring one knee up at a time. Again, we can roll up. Give yourself that nice little massage. I'm going to do it again. It feels so nice. We're coming up into Sukhasana cross-legged position. Thank you so much for joining Amazing Trails Yoga Tricks today. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Make sure you subscribe to us, like us. We love you and have a beautiful, beautiful day. 
Namaste.